Hey everyone, my name is Oran Sahir and of course I'm joined by the team of Inside Edge. This is of course uh, a Bollywood Snacks, a B4U's official podcast and I of course have the wonderful Richard Chadda, I have Amir Bashir, I have uh, Tanuj and of course Akshay Oberoi and I think it's wonderful to have all of you. It's a house jam packed over here and, and all of you are such amazing uh, you know, celebs and of course talents. Um, I want to start with you uh, Richard. I think you know uh, I've seen so much of your work and I think it's extremely well celebrated. Um, we are in the third season of um, Inside Edge. It's coming on December 3rd. Um, and, and I can't wait to watch it myself. I think from the body of work you've done from Masan to uh, getting on the OTT platform is what has your journey been like? I, I actually just thought of it as a show, not a show for OTT. I just thought this is going to be a, a fun original series to be a part of. Uh, and the journey has been like full of ups and downs, but like any other, but I think I'm finally understanding who I am and what I want to say. So yeah, hopefully maybe create more from this point on, but for the, for the time being, I really enjoy playing Zarina. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Amir, I want to move straight into you because I think, you know, you've done an in, insane body of work, you know, whether it's the Wednesday, uh, whether it was Sacred Games, of course, you've dwelled very well from doing films and cinema. And then, of course, you're also on OTT platforms now. Uh, what was your take on doing a thrilling show like Inside Edge? Because it's very different from the other work you've done. Uh, in terms of, I mean, different in the sense that, yeah, again, I'm playing an older character and stuff like that. But uh, I was excited about it. Uh, I hadn't seen the show when I was offered the show. Then I had to watch it. And I was excited with what I saw. And I always wanted, like, as a young actor, I wanted to be part of a sports film, which never happened. And um, basically jumped at the opportunity, even though I didn't get to uh, hit a straight drive or a cover drive or a hook shot. For that but matter, but like uh, still, yeah, still love I, was, I was, I was, <laughs> sorry, we still love the intensity no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah, well, that is that is that is how the character was written, so I guess I didn't have a choice. <laughs> that <laughs> my sub is a bit intense and is always making other people tense, so uh, yeah, so yeah, I, 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 it was a no brainer for me. I would, I mean, I would have said yes, right. no matter what. Uh, Tan Tanuj, your sort of inception to um, this you know, franchise has been is fantastic from the first season right up to the third season. Very, very gripping. Uh, it's a very interesting take on the character as well. Of course, you're very competitive in the show, yet you have this beautiful heart. Um, how do you dwell in terms of the characteristics of, you know, the kind of the, the portrayal you're playing? Uh, follow Karan Anshuman and follow what the writers have written. And uh, that's like 90% of my job because like it, it is, uh, there's so much of detailing in the scripts and there's so many important discussions and little tidbits that they keep, uh, you know, coming just whispering into my ear. So I have a good idea of what their expectations of me are, you know. And and also I feel when you're when you're into world building as we are on a show such as Inside Edge, um, we're not performing in isolation. So you have to kind of uh, see what else is going on. How are the other characters uh, inhabiting their space and their corner of the room, and kind of pitch your performance accordingly, you know. So like. In season one, I had a lot of work with uh, Angad's character, a lot of work with uh, Shayani's character. Richard and me have had some work. Uh, in, in this season, uh, in the second season, it was Siddhant. In this season, there's a lot of Akshay and me. There's a lot of Sapna and me. You know, uh, so depending on how they are pitching their performances, we just kind of like play off each other's energy, you know. And I, I, I just feel uh, we're really blessed to have so many amazing people around us, right? From our DOPs to our writers to, of course, the various directors who have been a part of the journey right from the first season who who give us enough leeway but at the same time if they think we're going too far left field they rein us back in you know so i think um, yeah yeah they empower us and i would like to believe that we empower them as well so it's 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 a very very good uh, uh working uh, uh, equation yeah right that's amazing. Uh, well, actually, I think you, you've, your you know journey has been from one cricket show to the other cricket show because you were first <laughs> in selection day, and, and and me being a cricket fan, I mean you were you were fantastic in both. Of course, very two very very different characters. Uh, was it some sort of an intentional choice? Are you a cricket fan, or is it just purely by the script? Is it just something you kind of felt as an actor? <laughs> No, yeah, I uh, you know, actually I wasn't a cricket fan. I grew up in New Jersey, so there was no option of being a cricket fan. You know, uh, right. no one around me watched cricket. My dad did, 
but very close you know off in his room and he would not really talk to me about it so i never you know i've like a gripe with my father now for not like you know it, you know celebrating the sport with me or teaching it uh, to me uh so i never <laughs> really knew much about cricket um i mean i love sports i play sports all the time i watch live sports all the time cricket was just not a part of that catalog so um when i was offered selection day uh again i had i had, re- I had already read arvin adiga's uh, selection day the book and i had yeah. liked this character that was offered to me in the book because he's this confused sort of end of his luck down on his luck businessman and i found that very tragic you know and i you know and, and i love playing tragic characters those are the more fun ones to play uh ones who are sort of insecure and have all kinds of imperfections are the ones i get most attracted to um yeah. so that was a pure choice from the character and the script i don't hold a bat i don't do anything in selection day so i was actually a little disappointed i used to see the two kids are uh, practicing all the time and i used to be like oh you know i would love to play cricket some day in a in a film or in a show or something and then along came inside edge um <clears throat> and you know i i particularly loved this show because of the character that was sort of offered to me um right. he like you know has a special place in my heart because actually like without divulging too much you have to see the show as to what i mean exactly um but there is a responsibility that comes with my character and playing him um for sports at large uh, it's right. a very relevant topic currently um and i feel like I, when i when i read the script when i got narrated the part and you know karan anshuman and kanish told me about it i i immediately was like oh my god i will do what it takes to to have the responsibility to play this part and then i went off and learned cricket uh, right. so i played you know for two months two three hours every single day uh, i had a lovely coach called uh, prashant karya okay who we are you know you know he's absolutely the best coach i've ever interacted with he teaches so beautifully uh, tanu jhod vouch for that as well i'm sure they still play together today so uh, you know and 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 he never gave up on me and i never gave up on him and i worked my butt off and i really hope it pays off in mission so oh, that's fantastic and wish you guys the best um i want to kind of dwell a bit into um the importance of ott platforms now because you know in the last what decade or so in the last 5 years at least uh, the kind of shows you're watching the kind of content that's been coming up has been so impactful and yet so real you know i think we, we kind of see less of the kind of uh, caricature stuff less of the over the top um you know melodramatic stuff it is a bit more real a bit more essential uh something which is very very relatable um and i think all of you've done an incredible body of work which kind of just speaks and represents that and which i want to start with you um what is your take been from the kind of whole not transition but i mean how would you kind of really define uh the difference of being in a film as against uh, in an ott show a film is a much shorter commitment for the most part i mean uh, even in an ott if your date uh, if on a series if your dates are spread out i mean it somehow seems longer even if you end up shooting for the same 40 45 days i just think it's a question of the medium right it's never that i think that I, i i will give this less effort or i will use glycerin here to cry whereas in a film i will really let you know i will ball my eyes out so i don't know i mean i i work as hard as on this as i would on a film but the stakes are different in each case yeah. like you know um we have to film a lot faster when we do a series because there's more characters to justify more knots to kind of open on the writing level so i mean i really enjoy th- this is like not tv and this is not film so narratives which don't fit into your typical 2 3 hour format and uh, you know the ones that require a bit more time are perfectly suited for uh, the o- o- ott space mm-hmm. I mean I want to talk to you a little bit about your process of you know when you kind of walk into a character because every kind of uh, character you've essayed through your filmography has been so different and so nuanced and I think uh, I I I don't know if it's a conscious choice that you make but but are you, are you a very impulsive actor do you believe in method acting uh, because a lot of the roles you do are obviously very intense but they they, they have a bit of a story to tell as far as <coughs> what went behind oh. choosing the role uh it's always 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 the writing as far as the writing is attractive if the writing moves me i am willing to do anything for the role so okay. that's my first I, i guess in that sense it makes it very instinctual as well and later on of course there is whatever little i can do and master up in terms of creating a kind of a structure in which i can just cocoon myself as a character those are different things but it's always something that has something that moves me i would like to be a part of 
Uh, so for me, it's as simple as that. Right. And lastly, I just want to wrap up with you guys. Uh, wanted to ask, were there any interesting bits behind the scenes that people don't really get to see uh, through the trailer or through the, any kind of episodes? Is there anything that kind of stands out? Or, why, or, or, or even stuff like, why should people watch Inside Edge? I mean, I would want to watch it for all the good reasons, but uh, something that hasn't been said as yet. There's a little snippet in the trailer where Akshay and my characters get into a food fight and I may have <laughs> knocked him right between his eyes with the... <laughs> With the with, with the, the chicken, chicken bone, yeah, yeah, he almost like, ended my acting career. That's yeah. what happened. Wow! But the most the and, most amazing part of that is moments before we shot that, Tanuj came over to me and said, "Bro, this looks really unsafe." But then we were well into shooting, and Tanuj and I right. already have like a good bond going. So before that, I remember he came over. He's like, "Isn't this a bad idea? There are like chicken bones in my plate." And I said, "Man, I don't know. Like, yeah, I think you're right." And you know, sometimes on a set, you're just so wrapped up in what's happening that before you know it, someone's called action, and you're chucking things at each other. <laughs> and boom, I remember he like whipped this chicken bone right at my head right. and slammed right in my forehead. And when the tape <laughs> got over, he like ran from the other side, like, oh my God, are you okay? Um, yeah. I hope they kept that those. bit. <laughs> they well, We've had a couple of those. We had balls because we had like real bowlers bowling at us at like 130 kilometers an hour. We, all, wow. we've had, like, we almost we've had, like, lost our chair during his very first shot of the show. To a yeah, bounce and that, off. you know, and yeah, and that and that bouncer is actually in the show. Uh, like uh, Kanishk has put that shot in because it's a real one. When I've ducked the ball because he almost took my head <laughs> off that guy. Well, we're so, glad so you guys I, are I, safe and fine and, and, and no yeah. one's been bruised in the wrong places. But yeah, just to yeah. end this, guys, I want to ask all of you because the name of this podcast is Bollywood Snacks. Uh, I want to just go around asking each of you, what's your favorite Indian snack? Let's start with you, Richa. I love all kinds of chaat, street chaat? food of India, yeah. like uh, papri chaat, pani puri, gulgappe, aloo tikki, aloo chaat. Yum. You're I love me- chaat. Awesome. <laughs> Amir, what about you? I somehow don't eat between meals. Okay. I oh. don't really snack, but every now and then, uh, when it's rainy, maybe a samosa. Oh, yeah. he took mine. I was going <laughs> to say a nice crispy samosa. Crispy samosa, yeah, that always works. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Tanuj? Any any kind of chart, whether it's like the Bombay chart or Delhi chart or anything, but uh, I think special mention to Dhai Puri. Awesome, awesome. Oh. That's a great yeah. way to end the show, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Looking forward to the third season. Of course, it's coming out on December 3rd and wishing you all all the best. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Zoran. Thank you. Thank you.